YouTube, what's going on? Joseph Fulmer here. And today I'm at work. I'm in the shop down here because it's stupid cold outside. And I've got the 2000 F350 that I just bought sitting right here behind me. And I'm going to try and get a couple things done today. First, I've got this weather guard toolbox right back here. Sorry for the smudge in the middle of the screen. I scratched the lens and Amazon's been slow delivering my new camera. But I found this weather guard toolbox on Facebook Marketplace. Hopefully that's showing up all right. And it's used. It's not in A1 perfect condition. Once the weather warms up, I'm going to clean it all up and make sure it's got a good coat of paint on it. But for now, I want to get it mounted. That way I have a place to store my chains, jumper cables, tie downs, that sort of thing up underneath the bed where I don't have to climb up on the bed to get to them and it's not taking up space. So, I've already got one hole drilled while I was waiting for the camera to charge. I'm going to set you up and what we're going to do, this box already had, it had been mounted before, and it already had holes up in the roof of the box. I don't know how well they're showing up. But they actually line up with the cross members under this bed when you mount it on this side. So, I'm going to get these holes drilled and I'm going through with a pilot bit first and then going back through with a 3 8 bit so that I can get 3 8 bolts through the holes with some fender washers and we're going to get this mounted. So real quick I'm going to get these holes drilled and then I'll be back and we'll get the box mounted. So do me a favor. In the meantime while I'm drilling the holes go down there and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have any questions throw them in the comments. Please don't forget to rate the video when it's all over with and share it with your friends. Okay guys, so I've got that hole already drilled in the bolt in. I got that one drilled and tapped because these front two holes, what I did was I drilled through and I tapped them because they're blind. The rear two, I need to finish drilling the, I got the pilot hole in the back corner. I got that one I dropped the bolt through to keep it lined. Now, the way I'm bolting these up in the front, I have a 3-8 stainless steel bolt a washer because I can't get a fender washer in there and then this neoprene washer and the neoprene washer I'm squishing in to seal the hole and keep moisture from coming in the top of the box and then I'm going I'm actually applying a bit of red a bit of Loctite 272 the red Loctite to keep these from backing out easily and then we'll run them up into the holes that I just tapped and, the, and we'll, then I'll show you what I'm doing with the back. Alright guys, so at some point my camera died. So I don't know how much of this you saw. But I've got a bolt there and a bolt there. They come down from the top. And what you can't, what's real tough to see is in between the washer and that fender washer in the box is a neoprene washer to seal the hole. And then that's a nylon lock nut. Up here, that same neoprene washer, but I had to go with a smaller metal washer. And those got red Loctite and the holes are actually tapped into the bottom of the bed. Now, that's all mounted. I need to clean the box out. One thing I may have to do is loosen this clamp and slide this hose down my fuel filler just a little bit because I got a pretty tight bender on the back of the box. I'm gonna grab a 5 16 and we're just gonna go ahead and move that. I'll show you how easy that is. So we're just gonna loosen that clamp up. Look, I'm going to try and 
That took a bit of the kink out of that bend. That took most of it out. So. I'm gonna slide that clamp up about there. And we'll suck her back down tight. Very well sealed to keep any moisture, grit, crap, nastiness out of the oh, from getting down into the fuel tank. We don't want that. Oh, there we go. Nice and tight. I still have plenty of the filler neck down in there. I can feel that. So that's not an issue. Plenty of room there. Should be perfect. Guys, that's what it looks like. Uh, once the weather warms up, we'll clean her up a bit. Maybe throw a new coat of paint on it, make it look nice and pretty. In the meantime, do me a favor. Please don't forget to drop your questions down in the comments, rate this video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. And don't forget, get out there, get your hands dirty. You might have a little fun doing it. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.